Okay, we're in Lightroom. We're looking at all of our pictures of the little majors. I just imported 357 pictures with this import button. So we're going to sort them because it's a whole lot of pictures. That's more pictures than we want on a contact sheet. That's more pictures than I want to see turned in. So we need to sort them. So you can view them in grid view down here at the bottom. You can also view them in loop view. Loop view is kind of nice because you can use your mouse to scroll through them and if you need to rotate them you can use these arrows down at the bottom to rotate them and then you can star them at the bottom. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these stars. So anytime you see a picture that you know is going to be a keeper you're going to hit five stars. If you see a picture that you know that you don't like, like this isn't the best picture of this child, you just keep going. Right, so we can rotate all these pictures. And when we find one that's really good, we're going to hit five stars. So, right, so that's how we do it. So I'm going to go back to the grid view. We're going to look at the ones that I have already starred. So I've gone through a lot of these pictures. So in the grid view, I'm going to sort them by rating it will go ahead and it will add the five starred pictures to the top. I'm going to select all of my pictures that are five stars and an easy way to do that is to go to my collections and in my collections tab there's a, f a five star. So you just click on your five star folder. I can hold down shift and select all of my five stars, go to print, and I will have a contact sheet in order to get to contact sheet, I already have it set here. So in order to get here, I'm going to go to um, page setup. And I'm going to set a PDF. So I'm going to go back to my print. And we are going to go to, sorry, under template browser. Lightroom templates, there are two options for contact sheets. One for 20 pictures and one for 40 pictures. If you have 20 pictures, use 4 by 5. If you have more than 20, you're going to use the 5 by 8. There's also a landscape orientation contact sheet if you prefer. So I want to choose under the menu on the right, I want to choose the identity plate to make my name show up and override color. So if you're logged in, your name will show up. Override color so that I can see my name. I'm going to scroll down for photo info. I want to choose edit so that I can tell it what to put in it. I would like the file name so I know what the photo is called on my flash drive. And then I would also like to add the exposure so that I can know um, what the settings were it was taken. Um, one over 200 second shutter speed at f5.6. So you go to printer dot dot dot. We are going to save it as a preset for an Adobe PDF so that we have a, a paper version that doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, we're going to click OK. We're going to save the PDF. You're always going to save your contact sheets with your last name, underscore, first initial, underscore, CS for contact sheet and the name of the shoot. This is the little majors. And then you're going to click save. Your PDF print will pop up. Um, so you can see that it's saved, but it will save automatically, so you don't need to do anything else. And you can see you have a contact sheet with the exposure and the file name. So now I'm going to go back to library. I'm going to pick a picture that I would like to develop. Um, I would like to choose this picture of this gentleman here because it has a slightly blue background, and I would like for the white light to be a little lighter. So I'll show you what I've done to this picture. If I go over to the History tab, and History, if you scroll, is under this Presets, so we're not going to use the Presets or the Snapshots. Um, under History tab, when this started, this was how my picture was imported. And I made some corrections so that it is a little bit, um, the exposure is a little changed and the picture is a little warmer. So the way I did that was I went over here to the edit menu and under basic I made the temperature a little warmer 
you want to stay pretty close to these middle three tick marks. You don't want to make any huge adjustments because those are hopefully done in camera. But you can change the tint a little bit, balance it out. Um, you can change the exposure um, to make it a little bit brighter. If it's, if it's a little under or overexposed, you can fix that there. Um, you can change the contrast. You can change the highlights and the shadows. If you change the whites, you can make this thing look really white in the background, but you don't want to go that far. So maybe just like a little bit whiter. And make the black a little bit blacker so that it shows up. Um, we can do some clarity and dehazing and some vibrance. Right? You can adjust the curves on here as well. You can see in your histogram where your shadows are. Um, you want to get a good range here. So once we have it how we want it, if you go back to the library, if I've added any develop adjustments, you're going to see this plus and minus, and it says photo has develop adjustments. So remember, this is not, we haven't adjusted this file. This is just the Lightroom preview. So it's like a, it's like filtering it on your camera on your phone, but it's not really printed yet or saved anywhere. It's like just kind of there in this Lightroom. It's not, a, it's not there on your flash drive yet. So in order to export these photos, let's say they're all done and they're ready to be exported and we want to save the new versions of these pictures. We are going to hit the export button. You want it to go to a specific folder on your flash drive and you are going to browse by clicking choose and you're going to go and you're going to find your flash drive. I am going to select this folder and I want to put them all in this subfolder or best edits. And if you want to create a folder, you can create a folder here and name it. You can also add it to a catalog if it's not there, but these are there. Then we're going to rename to a custom name with a sequence because I want these all to be named the same thing with number one, two, three, four, five. So I'm custom name sequence. It's going to be my last name, underscore first initial, underscore little major. And then it's going to do a sequence starting with number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And they're going to be JPEG. You're going to hit export. It will export all of these files to where it, the drive that I've told it I would like to save my JPEGs. So there we have little major one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. They're all nice and organized. And those are the ones we're going to edit and crop in Photoshop. And that'll be the next video.